So iterative development, um, one easy way of showing improvement from one version to the next is to have different screens, like an instruction screen, a game over screen, as well as a game screen. Uh, and in Python, we would typically use views to do that. Views are fairly straightforward, but um, there are a couple of little gotchas, and the example is a little bit confusing. So this video is to try and uh, clarify that. Uh, so I've done a stripped down example here with an instruction view, which is red, and a game view, which is green, and a game over view, which is blue. Let's just check that works. And you can see I'm using a key press to advance from one to the next each time. So it should come up red, green, blue, and we're done. So um, these are our views. And the, the main problems that come up are to do with this stuff at the beginning. So you might be saying, oh, there's no init and there's no setup yet. That's the problem. That's something we're going to talk about in a second. Uh, before we go there, though, let's just have a quick look at what's happening down the bottom here. So the overall concept is that we've got um, a window just made from an arcade window. And then we make a view. And in that window, we show that view. And as you can see, as we progress, that window shows a different view. We make a new view for the game and we show that view here. Fairly straightforward kind of concept. Um, so... Um, this instruction view here, the one to begin with, you'll notice it does not have an init. We've, you may have um, come across, uh, we, we've done inits in the start of all of our games and so on before now. This can have an init. And um, in my opinion, probably it's to, for consistency, we, we should have an init. An init. So I'm just going to drop the init in there. So def in itself, um, we have to do this super dot in it, which tells it is actually um, a view and it needs to do some setup stuff. This kind of happens by default otherwise. And if we run this, nothing will change. It will be exactly the same. We still have the init and we can, so we'll be able to put initialization stuff into this init if we want to, bang, bang, bang. But of course, um, a lot of your examples have got a setup already. So def setup and um, if I just put in here print setting up um, then we want you know if you've already got the structure in your game where it does the init and it perhaps creates the empty sprite lists there and then you do the setup which is where you do all the level stuff you might be trying to transfer that across and running this Problem is, if I run this, we will not see setting up appear down here. It is not running setup. Okay, so uh, that's not appeared down here. Nothing has happened because we haven't called it. This is our own thing. Okay, init is their thing. It is a Python thing. Init is always going to run. On show view is also another thing which happens at the start. I haven't talked about that yet, but you know these all basically do the same thing when we start this view, these are all the three things that we could potentially have running. Um, so on show view is pretty much always going to happen. In it is going to happen the first time when we create the view. Setup only happens if we ask it to happen. If we go and look at their examples, you'll see there's an example here. We've got in it, which it does, and then it's got a setup. And that is called here is making the view and then setting it up as it progresses from one view to the next that's one way to do it um because of course we don't have anything down here which is saying called setup i'm not quite sure what um, the preferred option would be but a way to do it is right here say self dot setup at the end of the init or at the end of the on show view, if you would prefer to have it here instead. So if we run this now, so it's going to um, run the window in a moment. And you can see it's saying setting up because it's actually called the setup function. Um, so that's probably the main issue that people have when they try to use views is they get a little bit confused about these three functions which all run at the start. Um, the init is kind of uh, optional because if you don't have it, it will kind of run anyway, but only when you make the view. 
The on-show view is always going to happen. And the setup is something which you can choose to have happen um, depending on how you go about uh, whether you call it up or not. So when you are transferring your pre-made game into here, you have to be really conscious of making sure those things get called correctly at the right time according to what you want. And the one last piece of advice I've got is whatever you do, try to be consistent. If you do it this way here, also do it this way here, also do it this way here. It just makes it easier for you to keep track of what's going on.